All right. Um, quick tutorial. Well, not real quick. All right. Here's a tutorial on um, creating a user login system with Dreamweaver and PHP and MySQL. Um, it took me, I struggled a while trying to find a good tutorials or articles about doing this, and it took me a couple days of uh, screwing around to figure it all out. So here you go in a simpler form. Um, I'm going to assume a few things that you already have LAMP installed, that you already have MySQL all set up, and you know how to use it, that this ain't your first rodeo at least. So <clears throat> we'll start off by um, setting up a database. I'm going to use PHP my admin. You can do it however you feel like you want to. All right. We're going to create a new database called user login. How about name um, users. I'm going to go a little overkill and do, we could just do a username and password would work, but um, I'm going to do a full table just to show you why not. We'll do seven rows. And they are going to be user ID. It'll be an integer. Um, we're going to make it auto increment and be the primary. And we'll do first name, variable character, um, 32. Uh, actually, let's, that's fine. Last name, variable character, 32. Username, variable character, 32. Um, username, we're going to make it unique. Password, variable character, 32. We're just going to do variable character right now. We'll change, change it later to uh, something secure. Um, what was this we're on? Forget. Password. <laughs> uh, password's nothing. Email. Variable character, we'll do 256. Um, email will be unique. And active, we'll make it integer. And this is just gonna um, say if the user is active or not in case we ever wanna implement a email verification system. Um, we'll default it to zero. So it'll just be zero or one. And um, save it. And we got everything. Let's, um, add something we'll leave the user id blank because it's automatic first name i'm just gonna do this Dole. bob dole's password is going to be password bob at dole.com and we'll leave him not active because we're not going to implement that right now and um, go and there we go we have a user so over to Dreamweaver um, for Dreamweaver working with servers databases I think it has to be a, a local site Want work on remote for testing? I'm not sure, but anyway, um, here's how I have mine set up. I'm going to assume you know about sites. Um, make sure in advance you have the server model. Make sure it's on testing server, and you can see mine set up for the local network. I have an ex exam install. If you don't know about all this, you probably shouldn't be watching this tutorial. 
All right, so we're gonna, I'm going to start off with a, uh, a blank page. I'm going to do a little template here just to make it kind of pretty looking. Perfect. <clears throat> so we're going to call this, we're just going to, so we can keep things straight, the home page. Um, and I'm going to name it index.php. And since I already had it, I'm going to sync it to my server. Let's see if that's working. Yes, sir. All right. Um, so we got the index. Um, I'm just going to make this easy. Save as. Um, we will do login.php. So now this is login, so we can change it to. Uh, login page save it so now we have index and login save as members.php change to members only save save as um, read Jacked.php. Call it rejected access. Okay. So now we got all our pages we need. So we'll go back to the home page. And um, let's just pretend like that right here is going to be a link to the members area. So we'll make link and we want that to go to a members. No. Yeah. We want it to go to members.php. So member members.php you say here is where we need to start working on our, uh, connect to our database. So if you don't have your database, whatever this is called tab, window pulled open it's up here windows databases and then yours will probably be blank i already have some from working earlier um, click here my sql connection and add a new connection i'll call this uh tut just for the tutorial you can call it whatever it doesn't matter here this matters if it's it's always pretty much even if it is a local or remote server it's always going to be pretty much local host your sorry your username um, admin password and the database you can hit select and it'll show them all what did we call that database earlier user login I think sure so tut we got that now we're going to go over to server behavior and here we're going to click this little plus button and all right, we're on the members only page. So here we're going to say user authentication, restrict access to page. I don't know why I started on this page, but that's okay. Um, we require username and password. If access is denied, go to we're going to say reject.php. Okay. Save it. Where is that? Members, members. Not even in the server. There we go. It's there. So let's try to go there. Members.php. Rejected access. Awesome. Right? Yep. Okay. So we've got.
gotten two pages done. Let's see here, why wasn't my index page updated with the members area? Um, index, but there we go. Rejected access. Is that how we want it to work? Um, you can do it either way. We could have it just redirect you to the login page, but you get the idea. You can set it up however you want. Let's go ahead and set up. We'll just do it right here and then we can separate them or however you want to do the pages. So back to Dreamweaver and on reject, we are going to add a form. So insert form right there and then insert I'll make sure we're in the form I'm sure we are and then insert form text field password password notice lowercase uppercase enter insert form no oh, I'm sorry insert form text field again Username, username. I don't know why I just did this backwards. And then insert form button submit. Oops, submit. Password I got right, username. Like I might have accidentally capitalized username. It doesn't really matter, but just it's for semantics. Okay, save. And now it's on here. Okay. So now we're gonna go back over here again and hit User authentication, log in user. We're going to use form one, username field, password field, validate using um, tutorial, table users, username column is username, password. If login succeeds, go to those members. We'll just type it in. If it fails, we'll go back to um, reject. And we'll verify with username and password. Okay. We'll save it. Okay. So let's just start from the beginning. Localhost. Members area. All right. Um, man, I can't remember. Uh, what was the person's name I used? Holy crap. I can't remember. Bob Dole. Oh, yeah. And his username is Bob Dole, and his password is password. Nope. I'm on the wrong thing there. Try that again. Bob Dole. Password. Members only area. And it's that easy. Um, you could set it up differently, but you get the idea. And that's the basic setup. Oh, one thing we didn't do. Oh, I'll show you real quick. Um, if we go to the members area. Ah, I just closed it. Add a link. I'm doing it one more time here and say um, log out user. And then we'll just make, let it create a new link. Oh, we got to have a redirect page when done. Go to index.php. Save. Now we got log out. We're back home. Remember, area. You got to log in again. Easy.